All right, I'm on hole number 17 of the 2020 Community Cup in the opening round of the Ricky Division in my 77 account. I'm in a uh, Ricky expert bracket, and everybody here is a Ricky expert, and everybody here's got good stuff. So uh, I am. I'm telling you right now, I wish this was the weekend round because I am. I've been playing pretty pretty good today. And if you can't be good, be lucky on a few holes. That's that's how that works. And we are in our. This is the last hole. Really is a final exam just to see how you did, but it's not your full grade. <laughs> This hole right here is a hole we absolutely positively, it's just like hole number two, it's a par four we absolutely positively have got to get an eagle on every stinking time we come to it. And the whole deal here is, is it all boils down to one word, perfect. If you hit a perfect shot going into the hole, with whatever ball combo, club combo you're doing, if you figured out how much top spin or power or when to take out or whatever the deal is. If you figured that stuff out and you hit it perfect going up to the cup, you've got, you're there. But if you don't hit it perfect there, you, you could have some serious issues. So the whole deal here is, is this shot all boils down to one thing. Perfect. I'm going to bring a present ball and an extra mile. And if I need anything other than that, I didn't hit it perfect. Now I may need my rapier if it rolls off the back and I've been trying to tighten up the top spin. So I'm dropping down one top spin and I'm only going to five because I've been blowing by the hole and getting up on the rough on the other side. And I probably could go to like four and three quarters and maybe end up pin high. But I'm working it down. I'm willing to take a long putt to see where five puts me. Got a five power ball, extra mile, and a rapier. That's all I need. That's all I need. Open up a pin chest, getting some more commons. Let's see how many commons we got. 11, 15, 26 commons. That's what I'm talking about. Trying to get 300 commons a day. If you're opening up even like two or three chests like that, if you're opening up uh, chests, you only have to open up 12 chests a day right in that neighborhood to get your 300. So if you're playing at tour six, it's about eight. That's why if you watch my videos that I shoot in the off week where I'm playing one-on-one -on -one in the lower tours up to tour seven, and this account here has never played above tour seven. The cool thing about it, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why I play up to tour seven and I don't play anything higher because I can go down and play tour two and get live opponents. I don't ever have to play replays. My odd out account, if you ever wonder why half of me doesn't play his odd out account because I only play it in tournaments because I can't get live action unless I play tour nine and 10. And there's three, four, five, five top spin. A little bit of side spin. Okay, I'm going to take 3-2 out, which is about a ring and a half. Whew, deep breath. Need to hit this perfect. And I hit it one ring great to the left. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Weave, weave and bob through. You can weave and bob through. And I'm probably going to need to use, I'm going to, and I don't know, because I hit that one ring great to the left, whether the trajectory going in there, like how it's rolling, but I'm going to change that to five and a half top spin because six top spin was putting me on the other side in the fringe. And five put me, potentially could have put me short there. But I know that if I put five and a half on and I hit it perfect down the middle, because you don't know how it's responding when it hits these moguls that came in at a different trajectory. So I know if you hit it perfect and you do six, that you will not roll off the back if you don't put on any overpower. With that setup, the extra mile nine and the power five ball. With my 88, with my odd odd account, I don't have any power five ball. So I've been coming at it with a Titan and max top spin. I've been taking the wind out and I've been using about half. Cool. Cool. Close. I've been using about half overpower. And what's funny as hell is I missed the putt. I put this length in my auto account this morning. Let's see if I can make it. Let's see if I can redeem myself. Oh, I missed it again. I missed it twice today. 
I missed that twice today. That's all right. That's all right. I left something on the table. That that's, gives me encouragement. I left something on the table for the weekend round. Wow. Yeah. And that's twice I've missed that pet today. And if you, if you, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know, I am a shitty putter. I am not the best putter in the world. And part of the reason I'm not a very good putter is because I don't have to take long putts like that very often because I'm a big fan of getting closer to the damn hole. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm like all worried about this top spin, like where is that put me? It's because I don't like to take long putts like that. That was a very makeable putt. That's not that that was a difficult putt and I didn't have any lag. That was just me not hitting it perfect. It took me longer when I figured out the wind ring method and started doing the wind ring stuff, it, I, it took me longer to get better at putting than it did to figure out the wind ring method. That blows. That's okay. That leaves me something for the weekend round. I missed hole number nine on the front on a freaking chip that I should have absolutely had. Um, I adjusted out for the wind. I left it in the cup. I adjusted out for the wind. The wind didn't play a factor and I hit a great to the left and I could have made a perfect and a great to the right. If I would have went right at the flagpole, I would have been able to make a perfect, a great to the left or a great to the right. And I actually pulled it off and, and missed the Albi on hole number nine. And I missed a putt right here. So I'm going to have to redeem myself by getting the Albi on hole number nine. But I am excited about this because I've left stuff on the table. I got super lucky on hole number one both times. But I have made adjustments there and there is a funnel, so you can catch that. So I have made adjustments there that have made that possible. Um, but the rest of the round, I've been playing pretty good, playing, getting what I'm, and I'm tightening it up and getting better and better at it. So um, I've left a couple on the table. And let's go see if we can get the Albion on hole number 18. All right, that was hole number 17. Thanks for watching.